Hi Jazzy Greens and welcome everybody. Today's video is called Love is Patient, Love is Kind. This collaboration is hosted by Creations by Simone and her co-hosts are Shawnee on the Spot, Glam Elegant Living, The Rogers House, Priceless Home Decor by Monica, Debbie Bubbles, and myself Jazzy Green Decor Style. As you may or may not know, October has been designated for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's a very sensitive uh, discussion that I will be sharing some details with you and hopefully it will shine some light and inspiration and give people out there some hope and love. It's also called Domestic Abuse or Intimate Partner Violence. It can be defined as a pattern of behaviors uh, in any kind of relationship that is used to gain or maintain power or control over an intimate partner. Behaviors such as terrorizing, scaring, intimidating, manipulate, hurt, humiliate, blame, injure or wound somebody. Domestic violence can happen to anyone of any race, any age, any nationality. Doesn't matter if you have a disability, your sexual orientation, religion, or gender. It can occur in a marriage relationship whether you're living together or dating. Domestic abuse can also be mental as well. Every one in three women and one in four men have been assaulted or knows someone that have been in an abusive relationship. I have been affected by domestic violence in a sensitive way also to a point. I know of someone who's very dear to me that has been involved in domestic violence, but I'm very happy to say that they are a survivor to this day of this kind of abuse. Now I asked this person if they would allow me to share their story, but they, they didn't want me to, so I have to respect that. But, um, and that's fine. You know, I'm not here to bring shame to anybody. It's, we're here to enlighten everybody, to give you some resources and give you some hope and let you know that it's okay. You're gonna be okay. You are loved. So now I'm gonna give you some resources and tips on what you can do if you are involved in a domestic violence situation or you know someone who is being abused. If you need help, please don't be afraid to get help. Please reach out and get help. You can always call the Domestic Violence Hotline. And here's the number, 1-800-799-7233. And the hotline gives you lots of help. It also provides crisis intervention, domestic violence education, so that you can understand what domestic violence is and what it entails. It gives you a safety plan. It directly connects callers to service providers such as local shelters, referrals to agencies that provide legal, economic, self-sufficiency, sexual assault, elder abuse, children's and other related services. So please, if you know somebody or if you are involved in a domestic violence relationship, I want to let you know there is hope. I get emotional because this is very touching to me and the person that I know of was in an, in an abusive relationship a long time ago and thank God that they are a survivor. But it hurts to even talk about this. It's hard to talk about it. 
but I'm glad that I participated in this collaboration. Um, this is very important to share information. It's very important to reach out and help and to let you know that you're loved, that you know, it's going to be okay. You can get help. Don't be afraid. I want you to know from a person that has been affected by someone who's who was involved in domestic violence that you are not alone. You are loved so much. There's people that love you. Your family loves you. There is help for you. Reach out and get help that you need. There is hope. There is hope. Don't feel that there is no hope. There is hope out there. You are valuable. And I want you to know that I love you. I may not know who you are, but I love you. If no one else has told you that they love you, I'm telling you right now, I love you. Jesus loves you. And you may not know Jesus, but I do. And God loves each and every one of us. Don't feel that you deserve to be abused because you don't. You are loved and you should be treated with respect. You do not deserve for anyone to put their hands on you to abuse you mentally in any type of way. You don't deserve that type of behavior. So with that being said, I am going to share with you a tablescape that I have put together in honor of all of the survivors who have made it through domestic violence and if you are being abused, please reach out to that toll-free 800 number that I gave you before. I will have all of the information, uh, the hotline number, as well as the information I told you about the services. I'll have that down in my description box. So please click on that and get all the information and get some help, okay? So I love you guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you like the tablescape that I'm going to share with you in just a moment. Thank you so much, Simone, for asking me to be your co-host, one of your co-hosts. I really appreciate you um, asking me. Um, this was very touching and sensitive to me as well. So I just thank you so much. And thanks to all the co-hosts who... Um, came together we all did this together to help Simone bring this collaboration to light so thank you guys so much for watching